Hi, let's continue the prayer that is of power. Okay, let's continue this. And we say earlier that it's about seeing, seeing, hearing what God is saying, and then saying what God is saying. And this is actually the way Jesus operates. What I'm telling you is the way Jesus operates. Jesus he says, he says I, I see what the Father is doing and then I do. I only say what the Father is saying. So it's seeing, saying, seeing, saying. So this is how Jesus operated on earth. It's very important. That's how he operates. He doesn't operate any other way. So he always hears what the Father says. He always sees what the Father is doing. Okay, that is always that timing, that timing with God. It's like God's will at that moment. It's God's will and Jesus operates at that moment, lining up with God. So aligning with God is very important. Aligning with God in the season, in the moment, in that time frame that you God is showing this, we must be doing it, we must be saying it. So it becomes very, very powerful when we are aligned with God. When there is out of alignment, anything out of alignment with God, it doesn't work. It just needs a lot of effort to put it into place. So we need to line up with God's Word. We need to line up with the moment, the Kairos time of God. In everything we do, in every prayer we utter, it must be lined up with the Kairos time of God. When it's aligned, it flows like this. You know, when you have a tube and if the, if the pipe is just uh, misaligned, the flow is not there. When you line the pipe together, the flow is very fast, super fast. So we need to line up with the truth, with God's Word and God's timing, then everything super fast. So it will be quickened. Everything will be quickened. So, so prayer, you say, wow, it's so powerful. Powerful because it is lined up. Powerful because it is quickened. Powerful because God watches over His Word to perform it. It's not our Word, our desire, but God's desire. Remember again that God's desire is for our good. God never, never have any bad thoughts or best, bad plans for us. If you look at Jeremiah 29, 11, you know. God said, I know the thoughts, I, the plans that I have for you. Plans for your good to give you a hope and future, not to destroy you, right? So that's our God. He always has something good for us. So once we line up with His Word, we are lining up to have something good to manifest in our life. So it's very important, this alignment thing. So I encourage every viewer, you know, read the Word of God. Read the Word of God. Have your devotion time. Have your time with God. Have the time that you read out the Word of God loud. Get used to saying the Word of God. Because the more you get used to saying the Word of God, the easier it is when you pray because the Holy Spirit will quicken those words and it will come out in your prayer. And your prayer that is of the Word of God is going to create great, great results. You know, great results. And, and one of the things that always concern people is health and finance. Health, finance. Okay, health is one of the greatest challenges uh, to, to every human being. The coughs and colds, a little pain, ache and death. All these things, you know, and all these things can be settled very quickly because there are two scriptures, one is the old, one is the new, about by His stripes we have been healed. So let those scriptures be, be there in, in, inside, within you. You have read it so many times and you just say it. You don't have to quote from which chapter, what, but it's just natural, you just say it. Uh, because you have read it over and over again. When I say read the Word of God, remember, read the Word of God means use your mouth, not just your eyes only. Read it out loud. Read it out so that you can hear it. Let your tongue be so used to speaking the Word of God that it just come out of you. That's what it is. So line up with it. Okay? So at that moment that you need this Word, the Word will be there. It will just come out from your mouth and it's going to create powerful, powerful changes. Changes for good in your life. So remember this. Remember this very, very clearly. Because many, many, many Christians forget about the Word. They try to memorize with their mind. I say, no, you have to be a, a person who can speak, not just in your head. Head knowledge is no use. You must be a person who can speak the Word of God fluently. Just like you speak Cantonese or you speak Chinese or you speak English, you must speak fluently. How does a child learn to speak a language? From the baby time, the parents keep speaking to them that language. And then they pick it up and they also Boo boo ba ba, then they started to practice or imitate, and then they begin to be very good as they speak more. So it's the same, the word of God is the same. The more you practice it, the more you speak it, you become fluent in the word of God. 
When you are fluent in the Word of God, you become a very powerful prayer warrior, a prayer person. You become a powerful person. Whenever you pray, you see results. Because your, your, your mouth and your heart, everything is so lined up with what God is. And it's just so powerful. People were wondering, even yourself get shocked, how come you just say only it happens? You know, one of the things that uh, is very interesting, I always say I'm the favourite of God. I'm the apple of God's eye, you know, and I'm the prince, you know, I'm the royalty. And my wife will laugh at me and say, Ayah, don't be so proud. I say, no, that is the truth because the word of God says I am. I'm a child of God and my father is the king of kings, then I'm a king. So, you know, in fact, I'm a king. If I say I'm a prince, I already lower myself down a lot, <laughs> you know. So we are all kings. So I always say that and I say favour follows me. Mercy, goodness and mercy follow me every day, every day. I will have goodness, I will have mercy. And, and because I'm like this, because I'm speaking what God's Word is saying, it, it says you are wonderfully and beautifully made. I always say I'm wonderfully and beautifully made. I'm the apple of God's eye. And you know, when, whenever I go and, and whenever I drive, you know, whenever I go to a place and the car park is full, and I just drive in. They say full, you can only have 10 minutes grace. I still drive in. And the moment I drive in, it happens all the time. Not one time I miss having a car park. I drive in. As I drive in, others are in front waiting. As I drive in, the one just as I drive in will come out and I go in. It's just perfect timing. And usually, it is near the lift or near the escalator. So I don't have to walk so much. So I always tell my wife, you see, royalty is like that. You always have VIP treatment. And I, I re-emphasize that. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for showing yourself that who I am in Christ. So I have thanksgiving and it's just natural. You have to be natural like this with your father. You have to be natural. You don't have to pretend, have some prayerful voice, have some holy man's voice. You know, it's just natural. It's just natural because I know who I am. And I just know that I am having mercy and goodness all the time. So it has to happen to me. I have favour. No matter where I go, I have favour. You know, and uh, it just custom will clear me. They check everybody. I reach there, they don't check me. You know, in countries that they check everybody, they throw their luggage open, they sh take everything out. I walk there, I want to open, I say, don't need, go. Why like this? The others look at me, how come? Who is this? It's VIP, must be. I think so. <laughs> have to be. That's me. So this is what it is. So things like that can happen to you. Please, please, please remember, have the word closed inside your heart. Hide the word of God inside your heart. Hide it there. The way to do it is speak it, read it with your eyes and speak it with your mouth. Okay, what's in the, in the mouth is going to bring something. I close with this scripture, Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So every time you speak the word of God, faith. The original text, it says God's kind of faith. God's kind of faith comes inside you. God's kind of faith comes inside you. Imagine that is God's faith, not you generate the faith. It comes inside you. You know how powerful you become. Every time you speak the word and God's kind of faith comes inside. You have a faith that is of God, you can move the mountains. Because God's kind of faith, just, just a deposit of it can move the mountains. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I submit every, every single viewer into your hand. Lord, let that word let your word take hold of their life. Let that word come out from their life. Let there be such an alignment with your truth that nothing is going to hinder anyone, that they will have breakthrough, or I would like to use the word break forth from every situation they are in right now, that they will break forth, they will experience your favour, your goodness, your mercy, your deliverance, your restoration, your healing, your miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 若果你有代祷需要，或者想分享你嘅见证，请致电人生热线八一零零八零一二。